it's morphin time <laughs> in this video i'm going to break down the brand behind one of my childhood obsessions the mighty morphin power rangers It's your girl, Liz Marie, and in this series, Badass Brand Breakdown, I break down some of my favorite brands to give you an understanding of what goes into them and how branding actually works. So I was four years old when the Power Rangers debuted, and that makes me 32 years old, if you're wondering. I was obsessed with them. I remember one time my best friend and I went to meet the Power Rangers. Like it was just random people in costume, but we got this picture back from actually meeting them and they cut me out of it. It was really heartbreaking. Little Lizzie was really sad. But the crazy thing is that my younger brother is eight years younger than me and growing up he was even more obsessed than I was. He had God knows how many Red Rangers. So it is a phenomenon that just keeps going. It is going just as strong today. And I'll be honest, I haven't kept up with every version over the years, but there is still a huge, huge place in my heart for the Power Rangers. And I'm gonna explain why I love them and why they are such a powerful, powerful brand. Getting into the elements of the brand strategy, let's talk about their core message, also known as their tagline. They don't have a formal one, but I would say it's it's morphin' time, that, that thing when they do, when they morph into their Power Ranger suit. My vocabulary on this is probably way off. Feel free to yell at me, super fans, if I fuck up boards. It's morphin' time has become kind of the slogan for the brand. In terms of the brand personality, that is the characteristics that the brand embodies, they definitely fit the hero brand archetype. They're like superheroes. They're real saving the world from bad guys kind of heroes. Come with me. So very, very classic brand archetype. Hero brands are all about courage and bravery and goodwill and achievement and doing incredible things that people wouldn't believe are possible. And they embody most of that. But there's also a really, really cool, fantastical element that not all hero brands have. Many do. Lord of the Rings is like a total hero's journey. But they introduced this fantasy and imagination that is one of the reasons I loved it so much. And that ranges from everything from gigantic robots, zords, technology, to these like almost mythical looking creatures that look medieval or, you know, straight out of another time and kind of fusing those two things together. The end result is like super cheesy, <laughs> but delightfully cheesy. Like it's, you know, like when something is so bad, it's good. That's what the Power Rangers are to me. And they, they didn't feel that way as a kid, but now I'm like, I can totally appreciate the craftsmanship <laughs> of the Power Rangers. And they're always good vibes. Like it, all the characters are super positive. They always had good lessons in, involved and good energy, which brings me to their brand values. A lot of heroes, journey type of stories, a lot of hero brands have really strong core values worked into the makings of their brand. And that's totally the case, especially because this is a television show. So they had a moral, a lesson, a takeaway, basically every episode. And that's a lot of opportunities to give you some good vibes and sprinkle in the core values or the major themes of the brand. One of them is teamwork. This is a group that all comes together, like actually literally with their big machines, robot dinosaur things to form the big Megazord, super cool. Also just in terms of their fighting and how they take on their enemies, they come together. And the cool thing about that is like, there's kind of someone for everyone. You can self-identify with all these different characters, either literally based on just color, they're all different colors or whatever you see yourself in their personality or something like that. So that was always super fun. That actually brings me to my next one, which is inclusivity. So that's kind of the flip side of teamwork is like everyone is welcome. And I remember at four years old, like seeing an Asian American woman character played by a Vietnamese actress on TV was like, super cool and I was obsessed with Trini like she was the shit to me and I was totally in love with Zach the Black Ranger who was African-American and let's be honest that was super racist to make the Asian character yellow the black man the Black Ranger super racist but also cool to have representation for them in the early early 90s when that probably wasn't the case in like a superhero tv show so cool on inclusivity it also exposed so many of us to these interesting elements of japanese culture like entertainment that i didn't really fully recognize until i went to tokyo a few years ago and got to see like the robot museum and 
all of this cool fighting style that actually was totally ripped off from a Japanese show and brought to the US deliberately. But to get a taste of that one that was so different from what was on TV in our country at the time was super, super cool. They also have values of friendship, of course. So there's the teamwork side of it. But then like, these are just, they're just buddies. They just go to school and they hang out. They you know, date, they're cute. They're just friends, you know? And friendship conquers all that kind of thing. It's like so cheesy, but I love it. I love it. They have courage. They're just these little people and they take on like these gigantic monsters and shit and imagination so obviously like there's a lot of fantasy that's very inspiring and triggering for your animation and then the final thing was personal transformation so like they literally morph they transform and it just tells you that there is power in any one of us to transform and accomplish greater things than we ever thought we could morphin time Moral yeah. story, ordinary people do badass things. Okay, in terms of visual identity and the whole evolution of the look of the brand, it has changed somewhat since the very first look in whatever that was, 1983, until today. But some of the core elements have stayed the same. They have a lightning symbol in their logo. Totally not what I based my lightning symbol on in my logo, but funny little through line there. They are known for really vibrant colors, bold graphics, and this kind of, again, like deliberately cheesy, over the top, graphical style and dinosaurs. Also, I love dinosaurs, another another little line coming through, but dinosaurs are central to this paired with robots. So like the old prehistoric meets the futuristic tech and then like these worlds come together. Super, super cool. So many things are clicking for me now. Power Rangers is where it all started. Now let's talk brand activation. The biggest thing was the show. Like the show has gone on for almost three years. That's crazy almost 30 years and many, many iterations, different evolution of the characters and the version of the Rangers, different costumes, all that kind of stuff. They've also had quite a few movies, so it's translated to the big screen. But here is the big thing. The big money maker for t Power Rangers is in the toys. They have sold over six billion dollars of Power Ranger toys. And I saw this firsthand. Like I mentioned, my brother had so many Red Rangers. In fact, one day he got in trouble when we were in the car and my dad threw one out the window and it was just never to be seen again. And another cool thing. So my best friend's brother is obsessed with Power Rangers. He has Down syndrome and they are like his pride and joy. It's like his reason for being. He loves the Power Rangers so much. And I recently heard that they aren't gonna keep making the toys. I don't know, but if that's true and you have a hookup on some Red Rangers, please let me know. We would be so happy to give some new toys to Sean because like I said, they're like his everything. Anyway, Power Ranger toys killed it. That is the brand right there. That is the brand activation. That's where they have made their money on licensing their content, their characters to toys. And it's hard to beat that. Six billion dollars. Hard to beat that. So moral of the story, ordinary people can do badass things, transformation, morphing into a superhero. Sometimes things you watch when you're a kid make their way into your brand 30 years later and you can create a business and instill your values and your lessons and your morals into everything that you do and help people walk away with some really good stuff. For more on brand personality, like the hero brand archetype, check out my brand archetypes guide. You can download it down below or check out my video on brand archetypes. And until next time, stay badass. All right, y'all, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff down there. And check me out at at LizMarieStrategy or LizMarieStrategy.com.